and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Open Heat video, guys. And I'm about to charge my phone, which is why I just walked out of the frame. But, guys, before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know today is the Harvest promo. I'm super hyped. One of the big seasonal promos of the year, it's October, the Halloween promo, obviously, the Thanksgiving promo, the Christmas promo, those are the biggest three promos of the Madden season. Obviously, there's some other great ones, but these are the ones that are like, these are the cornerstones, right, the staples. These are, when you think of Madden Ultimate Team, you think of Harvest, Turkey Bowl, Food Collectibles, Cornucopia Pack. Sadly, I don't think we have a Cornucopia Pack, which is a surprise. Maybe they'll give us like a surprise one in a week, but that's counting a lot for me eh, to think so. But... I'm going to go over everything real quick in the game, show you guys everything that came out. Obviously, I did the stream video last night, but I want to show you guys everything the morning of so you guys have a pretty good idea of everything that came out. Now, we're going to start with missions, guys. Before we get into this, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys, turn on that noti bell, come join the family. Let's see how quickly we can get to 13k. Comment down below what your first, what's your first, give me a rating of the Harvest Prom. What's your first initial thoughts? Like, from 1 to 10, comment down below your rating, guys. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. If we get above 500 vi uh, likes on this video, I will be giving away 50k. So, comment down below, 50k. And like I said, we have above 500 likes. I'll give away 50k to a random commenter. And for you who don't believe that I do it, I gave it away to the last guy. His name was, I think, it was Mark something. He already tweeted it out. I gave him his 75k. So 500 likes, start running up the like button as of now. And I got to get into this. So going down below, let's see where the missions are, if they're out yet. I know the solos are out. If you go over to solo challenges, I don't think slowly, they slowly start releasing stuff. So for the solo challenges first, we got, let's see, let's see. We got backyard games. Turkey Bowl and the daily is not out yet. Backyard game, let's see what we got. So the milestones are tier one gold harvest player, tier two, two gold harvest players, tier three, and 82 to 85 overall elite harvest player, which is pretty good. Tier four, another 82 to 85 elite player. So this could potentially make making the uh the set players with the 82 to 85s much more doable. Another 82 to 85 tier five, a tier six gold plus harvest player, and tier seven gold and gold harvest player. So the gold plus is actually pretty solid. That could be an elite player. So the max stars is 100 for all the tiers. Kids versus dads. Let's see. Are they objective based? I'm not sure. They, they're probably objective based. They usually are. I wonder if these are. Are these riddle based? No. No. They're, no requirements just win the game, which kind of sucks. Is it eight minute eight minutes for the fourth quarter? I mean, whatever. I mean, you can chew clock and all, but like, kind of long. You do get 15,000 coins total from doing this. So that is a decent amount of coins you can get from doing it. Plus the gold players you're gonna get. Now let's see the turkey bowl. The Turkey Bowl is where you get your Nat 92 overall free Turkey Bowl player, guys. So make sure you get these done as quickly as possible. 174 challenges? Did I read that right? No. What the hell? It said 174 challenges. Unless that means like stars, everything combined. I don't, I don't know what that even says there. It's a lot of challenges. All right, so you also get a team captain token, guys. So let's go check out the milestones. So for 10 stars, which will only take you like three or four games with, no, it'll take four games to so three stars each. You get a team captain token, which is huge. Team captain tokens are always an exciting day in Madden because that means our team captain will get a lot better, considerably considering they're one of the higher overall cards in the game. So I think my Shay Zero will be a, what, a 93 overall now? I don't know if he's a 93 or 90, 92. I think he's a 92, but obviously I'll know when I get it. Tier 2, we get a, another uniform. At Tier 3, we get an 82 to 85, and I believe 100... Oh, so the 129 stars. I guess you get these stars from the dailies that are going to come out that you have to play. So the Turkey Bowl trials are the ones you have to play for the free player, as you can see. It says, win the Turkey Bowl to earn one of these 92 overall Nat players to add to your team permanently. So I guess you got to play all the ones in here. And then I believe that will give you the player that you need to get. And obviously your token. Now, show you guys what I mean. So I think you got there, what was it, like a free four to five. Or like, I think it was like four elite players, three elite players. Let's see if the sets are out. And here is my welcome pack, actually. Coming in there. Harvest welcome pack. So the welcome pack, guys, gives you a harvest mutt tip and a night train lane. Now, do not quick sell this mutt tip. Oh, you can't even quick sell it. They made sure you couldn't do that. They said yesterday, make sure you don't quick sell it, but I guess they took that out to make sure that no one would accidentally do it. So let's back out of that. Let's go to the set and go pick my turkey stuffer card. So let's see if the sets are out. Harvest sets. So let's see the, let's start with the harvest masters. We got Michael Irvin and night train lane. Now guys, Michael Irvin's stats are freaking crazy guys. Michael Irvin's going to be the best receiver in the game. He has all above 90 route running, all above 90 catching, and he's going to have a well above 90 speed. And if you power this card up and chem up, he's going to have above 90 everything. This card is going to be crazy good. Now, to get him, it does take all four of the players. And these are Nats. I don't think you can find them on the auction block. 
Now, to get all four of these cards, you're going to have to use food collectibles to build them. You do get one for free, guys. So, here's my best advice I can give you. When you get your free card, make sure you do it for the set that you want to complete, right? Because here's the thing. You're going to get one free card, plus you could probably build another card for a lot cheap, like pretty cheap with all the stuff you get from solos. So, assuming that, you could probably get up to two cards for relatively cheap. Now, if you, but let's say you use one Odell Beckham Jr., and then you use one joey bosa now you have three other cards you need for each set to complete them and they're not so you can't sell back and change them so i'd recommend if you're going to go the night train link set make sure you take two defensive players and if you're going to go the michael Irvin set, make sure you take two offensive players now for me personally i don't think i want two defensive players i mean i definitely want joey bosa as my favorite player from the defensive set but i don't think i want any of these other guys so i think i'd probably end up doing the michael Irvin set first which means i'd probably end up going with odell and then probably quentin nelson as my left guard so I think those are the two best options there. So obviously we got Ertz and Brady, which I'm not a fan of. And then we got Nitro and Lane, which takes Joey Bosa, Carrigan, Bouye, and Adrian Amos. And remember, when you do this set and you complete it, you will get back Bosa, Carrigan, Bouye, and Adrian Amos not for, to keep on your team. Four cards. Plus you get Nitro and Lane and you get the power card, guys. So I will have a method out for you guys tomorrow going over the cheapest way to do these sets. I'll be going over the cheapest way to get the Nats for free. Because remember, if you do this properly and you get all eight Nats, and you sell back Tread Train Lane, you sell back Michael Irvin. After I do all the math, you could potentially quick sell some Nats and maybe go walk away with three or four free Nats, depending on how you convert the training. So obviously to get these cards, you cannot buy them, so it's going to be a different dynamic. You got to get food collectibles, which you can get from the store and everything. So obviously you got to adjust accordingly to how that plays out. And you do get their power up card with this too, with the, the Night Train Lane, obviously. Now, you do get one of these cards for free, right? So don't worry, guys. I do have a ranking video coming to you guys today, going over the best free card to choose from the turkey players these are the turkey stuffer cards out of the two would i prefer night trailing or michael Irvin? that's a tough one i think i'm gonna go michael Irvin because i don't really have any good receivers besides tyree kill michael Irvin's going to be a route running extraordinaire randy moss like he's gonna be insane he might not be as tall but guys his stats are amazing so i'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get the playmaker and i'm gonna have to get night i'm gonna probably get both i think they're gonna be going for like 400k when all is said and done because based on the training conversions that i was talking about with someone it should it sounds like they should be around 400k so i'm definitely picking up both but instead of picking up both, I'll end up doing the sets because in my opinion, doing the sets, I'd rather have the Nat players and the player. I think both sets altogether will probably cost you about 1.2 million coins. But again, if you sell back the players, it could cost you 400k for eight Nats. So I got to go over all that in the video, obviously tomorrow. But let's head on over to the All-Star. So the All-Stars are going to be the cards that play on Thanksgiving that do upgrade based on their performance. So we got Dak Prescott, Micah Hyde, Calvin Ridley, TJ Hawkinson, Roquan Smith, and Marshall Lattimore. Each one are objective based. So, uh, if, so like if Marshall Lattimore starts at a 90, if he gets an interception on Thanksgiving and a pass defended, he will become a 92 overall. If he only gets one, he becomes a 91. If he gets none of them done, he is a, an irregular 90 overall. Now, when you get these cards, they will be nat at first when you get these cards done because you can't sell them until they get their upgrades. So on Thanksgiving, if they do nothing, they'll become a 90 overall. They'll be auctionable. 91, they'll be auctionable. 92, so on and so forth. So... I will be ranking these again in a video for you guys probably tomorrow going over the best ones to take. Like Dak Prescott's is 250 yards and three touchdowns. That seems a lot more doable than let's say maybe Marshall Lattimore with an interception and it's a defended, uh, defended pass. Roquan Smith is a sack and six tackles. I don't think Roquan Smith has any if or many or if any sacks this year. So that might be a little bit of a harder one. I'll obviously go over all these for you guys. But these are objective based. So remember you will not see the return on your investment until Thanksgiving Day or the day after I should say when they update. Now, these are fun cards, though. It's kind of like fantasy football. You pick them up. You can watch them on, uh, on Thanksgiving Day and watch them play. And however they get their upgrades, that will be beneficial towards you. Now, going over to the turkey stuffer cards, these are the ones that we're looking at. So if you put one gold harvest player into this, you get a fantasy pack to pick 176 overall player. And those are the cards you can upgrade, like the Odell, to so get to a 92. Now, remember, again, those are not those 92 overall cards aren't just space cards you get. You get them at 76 overalls, like a power-up card. You got to power them up using collectibles, which I'll go over in this video, obviously. And then here's the set I was talking about. You take your mutt tip put it in and you get a fantasy pack that you can choose any of the turkey stuff for cards i think i'm gonna go odell because i think i prefer to get the defensive done although i do really want joey bosa i'm not sure which route to go here yet see my favorite two are probably bosa amos odell and nelson that's probably my top four i will be making a ranking video for you guys so it's between bosa and odell for me and i think i want to do the michael Irvin set first so i'll probably be taking odell here because i'm obviously a giants fan so odell beckham jr is obviously a beast so it's tough. I definitely want Bosa, though. I'll take Odell for the sake of this video, and I don't know who I end up taking. Hold up. Do we get all eight? Oh, we get all eight. Are you serious? Okay, in the video yesterday... Okay, okay, okay. So I guess we get all eight. I thought we got to pick one. Whatever, so we get all eight. Let me show you guys how the power-up chains work on them. All right, my bad. Just disregard all of that that I said. 
I thought we got to pick one. I didn't know we got all eight of them. So now that we have eight, you can upgrade, obviously, all eight of them. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. So you go into the upgrade. So go upgrade Odell Beckham Jr. Now, to get one done, you're going to need a corn dish. And then, obviously, more as you go on. So it goes all the way up to tier eight, which will be the 92 overall Odell. Now, I wonder if this Odell is a part of his power-up chain. I'm going to go check that out in a second. So when you, obviously, when you get these all done, it's going to take eight collectibles total, which you can get from the store. And I don't know if you can get them from Solos yet, but we'll go check that out. Now let's go see Odell Beckham Jr. and his upgrade chains to see if they added the new Odell to it yet. All the way down. Yes, they did add the Odell to it. So powered up all the way, Odell will have a 91 speed, 91 excel, 91 catching, 89 awareness, 93 jumping, 93 ball carry vision, 84 spin move, 93 juke move, 87 B press. Pretty good catching, pretty good route running. Pretty good all-around card. I don't know. I'm probably going to end up taking Odell. Let's see what his power-up's going for. I have quite a bit of them. I probably should have sold them last night. He is going for 18K. He did come down a bit. I probably should have sold them last night. But I think when people know they're getting a free player, they should come back up. So if you have them, probably hold on to them. Now let's go see the store to go check these all out, guys, and see what packs we have available in the store. The 24-pack Harvest Bundle. I wouldn't recommend opening a Harvest Bundle personally because you're pretty much just getting it for the... The collectible pieces like the the 80s the 82s 89s you can put into the power the player sets and stuff that's that's probably like a hundred dollars right there i wouldn't recommend it now we do have the dollar 50 pack which is an 82 to 89 overall player for a dollar 50. pretty good pack if you guys are money spent kind of guys i'll probably end up opening this at some point i do not have any points loaded onto my account though let's see we got a special offers obviously and then training currency so it's getting 82 to 89 reroll pack it's 1560 training which i don't know if that's really worth it because if you get anything below an 80, like, say, what is that? Anything below, like, an 87, you're probably losing training here. So, I don't really know if that's worth it. Now, what's the Wishbone Pack? It contains one random Wishbone collectible, quick selling for an amount between 1,000 and 2,500 training. Uh, it's kind of a risk, but it could be a decent set to do. We'll talk over that in another video, obviously. Now, I do want to go check out one thing before we head on out of this. So, going over to the sets, let's see how many players it takes to build one of the all-star players. So, if you want to build them, it takes two 82 to 85s and three 86 to 89s so assuming you open up your dollar 50 pack and you get a, a 86 to 89 let's just say or you get the 82 to 85 from the solos you only have to buy these three i don't know how much they're going for let's see if they're on the block yet they're going for like 49k so i assume that these will come down to maybe like 40k flat if those are going for like 40k and you put all these together these cards will only cost you like 120k if you use your free solo challenge player so you can get one of them for like 120k which i think is a solid value because if they go up to a 92 overall they will go for more than 200k so that could be a very solid value a good way to make coins and quite honestly i think it's risk free at worst case scenario these cards will only go will probably go for like 90 to 120k so at worst case scenario you lose a little bit best case scenario you make quite a bit or double your coins so that's not a bad option there either i think we pretty much wrapped up everything we have the exchange sets obviously which are the main course collectibles these are where you put in the gold players to get collectibles. Now, if you put these all in, I believe you only earn one collectible. So it's going to cost quite a bit to make those players. I think the conversion rate was that each each of these players for the, for the Harvest Masters, like the Odell's in them, with eight collectibles will probably come out costing you about like 190k per player, give or take. So at that rate, it will cost closer to like 1.2 to 1.3 million coins to do both sets combined, which isn't horrible, honestly. If it costs 1.3 million to do both sets and you could sell Michael Irvin and Night Train Lane for 800k, it'll end up costing you like 500k and you get 8 92 overall players. That's kind of a snag in my opinion, guys. But that is about it for the video, guys. I think I wrapped up most of what I want to talk about. You got your team tapped and token. Obviously, the objectives are probably all that's left, which is the harvest thing. And uh, these aren't really that useful because objectives aren't like, they aren't like what you think for these. They pretty much just give you tips and hints about what you could do. And that pretty much wraps it up. Earn 94 by putting the turkey stuffers. Yeah, this just kind of tells you what to do. I guess it's just for, like players who don't know what to do and don't watch YouTube. But guys, that's about it. You get a food collectible to upgrade one of them by doing what? You get one free side dish by getting a food collectible. Yeah. All right. Pretty much wraps it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Don't forget, comment down below 50k. Like the video. If we get 500 likes, I will be giving away 50k to random commenter. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your Harvest promo. And be on the lookout for all my videos coming later today. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.